Hello friends, welcome to Instrumentation for You channel. Friends, there are many different technologies available to measure the level of the tank and they all work on different principles. Friends, if you watch level measurement related my earlier videos, then you will see how to measure the level with the remote shield level transmitter and you will get detailed information about it. Level measurement related in my second video, you will see how can you measure the level with the help of displacer. And level measurement related in my third video, you will see how you can measure the level with bubbler type level measurement system. Friends, if you want to see these videos, then the link of all these videos is given in the description. Friends, today we will learn one more level measurement method, radar type level measurement method. In today's video, we will see the basic information of the radar type level measurement system working principle of radar level measuring instrument difference between non contact type radar and guided wave radar level measurement and what are the advantages and limitations of the radar type level measurement friends till now you have not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so you can see my upcoming videos first so let's first we see some basic information about radar type level measurement Radar level measurement system is mainly used for continuous level measurement of tank or vessel. Radar level measuring instruments measure the distance from the transmitter to the surface of the process material. As the name suggests, radar level measurement technique uses radar technology to find out the level of the product in the tank, silo or vessels. This means that in radar level measurement, the waves sent by the instrument are radio waves. Radio waves are electromagnetic in nature and they are very high frequency. That means radar level sensors use electromagnetic waves whose frequency is in gigahertz to measure the level of the product. The radar level measuring instrument works on the time of flight or time domain reflectometry measuring principle. So let us now understand about the working principle of radar level measuring instrument. In radar type level measurement, the measuring instrument is mounted or located at the top of the tank or vessel and an antenna or sensor sends electromagnetic high frequency signal toward the bottom of the tank. Once these electromagnetic waves hit the surface of a product, this signal is reflected from the surface of the product which is called as an echo signal and this echo signal is moves toward the radar antenna. Antenna transmits this reflected signal, the echo signal, to the receiver. As the receiver collects the signal, the time taken for the reflection is calculated. This means that the instrument calculates the travel time of the signal that returned to the antenna. And it is called time of flight. This time delay determines the level inside the tank. If the time delay is short, the level is high. and if the time delay is high, the level of the tank is low. This is the working principle of radar level measuring instrument. But factors such as the dielectric constants of the liquid affects the working efficiency of the measuring instrument. The dielectric constants of the product has to be known as it has a direct effect on the quality of the reflection. In fact, a product that has a higher dielectrical constant value which reflect stronger and clear pulses. On the other hand, a product that has a low dielectrical constant value will absorb more pulses. So as a result, it will reflect fewer pulses and this will also reduce accurate level reading. As I mentioned further that as the receiver receives the reflected waves, it calculates the time of light and gives the level indication. So let's see how this calculation is done. Consider that we have to measure a continuous level of a cylindrical shaped tank. For this, a radar level transmitter is installed on the top of the tank. And here, F is absolute distance, the distance in which the level is to be measured. And here, the downside is 0% level and the top side is 100% level. E is the total distance between the mounting flange of the sensor and the lowest measurable level of the span means 0% level. L is the part filled with the product. D is the empty part of the tank. 
and BD is the blocking distance. In most radar level sensor, the distance between the mounting flange to the maximum level 100% of the product is called a blocking distance. The measurement is not reliable inside the blocking distance. Therefore, the level of the product should not be allowed to rise within the blocking distance. Alpha is measuring beam diversion angle. Actually, the width of the measured beam represents the beam diversion angle. Greater the width of the beam, it means that if the diversion angle is larger, then there will be less signal reflected from the surface. So, less amount of echo signal will return to the receiver. And if measuring beam of the level transmitter is narrower, then the level transmitter is more sensitive. Therefore, a narrow beam can ensure fairly high level measurement quality. The radar level transmitter measures the time delay between the transmitted signal and received echo signal. Electromagnetic waves travel at the speed of light. So, it is easy to calculate the distance from the sensor to the product surface using the equation. Distance d is equal to speed of light multiplied time of light means time that taken by the electromagnetic pulse from sensor to the product surface divided by 2. If the total distance between the mounting flange of the sensor and the 0% of the level means the empty distance E of the tank is programmed in the transmitter then the level L inside the tank can be easily calculated because level L is equal to total empty distance E minus distance D as measured by transmitter. So now let's we see the type of radar level measuring instrument and what is the difference between them. We have two types of radar level measuring instruments. One non-contact type radar level measuring instrument and second guided wave radar level measuring instruments. Friends, now let's we see what is the difference between these two radar level measuring instruments. So first of all we will know about non-contact type radar level measuring instruments. A radar level measuring instrument that rallies on open space for signal propagation is called non-contact radar level measurement. This means that the non-contact radar level measuring instruments sends high frequency electromagnetic waves through open space toward the process material. And due to the natural tendency of electromagnetic waves to spread in open space, there is a significant amount of signal loss in non-contact type radar equipment. Non-contact radar instruments depends on antenna for sends microwave energy toward the product and receives the echo signal that reflected from the product. So this antenna should be kept clean and dry. But this can be a problem if the measuring liquid emits condensed vapor. But if the antenna has proper cleaning then this problem can be solved and it takes us back to reliable measurement. However, depending on the device, the device itself or the programmable logic controller can also control the cleaning of the antenna. If the device does not have an automatic option, then we have to manually clean the antenna. Many plants also use compressed air with transmitter to keep the antenna clean and it is a money saving as well as it reduces unplanned breakdown. Everything inside the tanks such as a level switch, thermocouple or heater system can reflect the signal. If the level of the product is low, the radar level measuring instruments may get wrong level. But we have many solutions to avoid this problem such as a high frequency radar level transmitter, eco analysis, sealing well and many more. And with this all, this type of radar level measurement can be very accurate. So let us now learn about the guided wave radar level measurement. A radar level measuring instrument that use a waveguide is called guided wave radar instrument. In this method, a probe is employed to guide the wave in the tank which directs or guide the microwave radar signal from sensor to the surface of the product. Here the probe used in the guide wave radar equipment may be a single metal rods or may be a parallel pairs of metal rods or may have a coaxial metal rod and tube structure. Electromagnetic waves that travel down through the waveguides. The dielectrical constants of the process material will cause the variation in the impedance. This will reflect the waves 
back to the radar and through the waveguide it will return. The level of the fluid is determined by the time it takes for the waves to go down and reflect back. In this method, the degradation of the used signal is minimum as the waveguide provides a highly effective guideway for the signal travel. Therefore, the level measurement can be done effectively even in the case of the material with very low dielectrical constants. Apart from this, in this guide wave radar level measurement method, the waves are guided through the guide. Therefore, factors like surface turbulence, form, vapor, and tank obstructions do not affect the level of the measurement. So, let's now we move on to the advantages and limitation of radar type level measuring instrument. First, we look at some advantages of radar type level measurement. First, Radar level measurement can be used to measure the level of the liquid, sludge, slurry and some solid substances. There is no moving parts in radar type level measurement, which reduce the cost of maintenance. And radar level transmitter installation is also very easy. The radar level transmitter is not in direct contact with the product, so it is also good for corrosive and dirty application. Radar type level measuring instruments can also measure the level of very deep tank up to 60 meters. Now limitation, the radar level transmitter must have clear and obstruction free path from mounting nozzle to the product surface. Any obstructions in the tank such as a pipe, thermocouple, level switch and agitator can give a wrong echo signal. But most transmitter have software algorithm to ignore this echo signal. Second limitation is cost is high. Radar type level measurement produce highly accurate measurement in tank and vessels. But this one is expensive technology for continuous level measurement. Friends, thank you.